McIntyre and I'm the Digital Media Content Manager at National Museum of Scotland. Um, in July 2016, 10 new galleries opened at the National Museum of Scotland. And one of the most popular new additions, the human hamster wheel, as you can see here, um, which allows visitors to run in it to generate their own electricity. And sometimes working in a website feels like you're running in a hamster wheel because the work is never done. And certainly there's never been more need to keep running with the digital landscape evolving at a breathless pace and the battle for attention ever more fierce. So I'm going to look at how we redevelop the Explore section of the National Museum of Scotland website to meet these challenges and how we keep running to keep improving it. So first of all, what is Explore? Um, well, Explore is the online equivalent to a visit to one of our four museum sites, which are the National Museum of Scotland, top left, National Museum of Flight, to the right, National Museum of Rural Life, which is the far, um, and the National War Museum. Um, so Explore aims to offer visitors an insight into our vast and varied collections through stories, games, and other resources. And it also includes a searchable database of over 630,000 objects. Uh, so it was first conceived in 2014 um, as part of a huge overhaul of the whole website. But at that point, we were really focused on making sure that people who wanted to visit the web, um, our actual sites could find um, information about the museums quickly and easily, because research had showed that this was the most common goal of web visitors. So when it came to explore, we simply pulled together a lot of disparate content about our collections. Um, and it kind of fell a bit flat, as you can probably tell from this point. Uh, screenshot that we've got here in 2014. Um, so in 2016, we decided that we would redevelop Explore, um, but this time we would put audiences at the heart of that redevelopment. Um, so first of all, I ran a pop-up survey on Explore, um, which asked visitors three simple questions about their visit, which is, what did you come to do, what did you do, and how can we make Explore better for you? Um, and I also spent a lot of time wrestling with Google Analytics are actually doing on the site. Um, so through this, I came to know our audience quite well. Um, I knew that they were either schools, especially the games section, and that they were sort of casual learners who were interested in history. So I found out um, what they liked. Um, so I knew they liked games, and they liked the stories that we were telling about our collections. Um, and I also found out what they didn't like, and mainly what they didn't like was getting lost in this massive, uncategorized content with no easy way to navigate through it. Um, so we started looking for a way to solve this. Um, and we took inspiration from other sites, um, which had a lot of content on, um, for example, Medium and the BBC's iWonder site. Um, and we put these together on a Tumblr site, which is still up if anyone wants to look at it. Um, and we then drew off wish lists for what we wanted the new explore. Uh, so here it is here. Uh, and fast forward two months and a lot of work. Um, and we actually ticked everything off the list. Um, so now we have this. Uh, so we've got a track to look um, mobile responsive site um, that you can actually find your way around. Um, so it's got a dynamic, curatable landing page. Um, you can sort the content by filters, um, which are based on the terms that people actually use when they're searching, not on weird museum terms no one understands. Um, we can tell long form stories on it now. Uh, and we also really improve the collection search as well. Uh, so great. Got this new site, um, but now there comes the really tricky bit, which is actually keeping it going. And this is where the running really comes in. Um, so the stories in Explore are written by a three-person team, um, managed by myself, uh, and they're based on information that are supplied to us by our curators. And, and we aim to publish at least three new stories a month to keep the content on Explore fresh. Uh, so we plan editorial using the online collaboration tool Trello. Um, this means it's easy to share the plan because it's online, and it's easy to keep flexible, um, so we can accommodate new suggestions or new priorities that suddenly pop up, or new trends, um, and supposedly avoid overloading ourselves, we see quite a lot on it. Um, so the plan aims to balance content that's based around our exhibitions and events um, with more topical content, um, where we link objects to current events, anniversaries, and awareness days, and that kind of thing. Because if we're lucky at National Museum Scotland, because our collection is really varied, and it covers everything from stuffed animals to cutting edge technology, contemporary fashion to fossils, and medieval art to weird and wonderful artifacts from around the world. Um, and this is lucky for us um, because topical content is our not very really secret weapon for attracting people to explore, um, because it makes our collection relevant to people's lives. 
Um, because, of course, writing and publishing stories on Explore and tinkering around with the navigation is only part of the process. Because if you build it, people have said several times this week, um, they won't come unless you make them. Um, so a large part of our work in the content team involves trying to lure people to the site through our social media channels. So that's piquing their interest with unusual facts and unexpected connections. Uh, so for example, a tweet or a Facebook post might lead you to a story on Explore, um, which will then link to a blog post, which might then take you to another story, which you could then share yourself on social media. So you could call it a social circle. So um, every month we look at how content has performed on the website and social media to see what's caught people's attention, what's fallen by the wayside, and then we look at the editorial plan and our social media plan and we adjust it accordingly. Um, and I've also recently rerun that same pop-up survey on Explore to see how the improvements that we've made to the site have changed visitors' experiences when they're using it. So what we learned from all this? Um, first of all, we've learned that um, when you're planning, you should make sure you know what your audience wants. Um, because basing um, our redevelopment on robust research has really worked for us so far. Um, the new layers of filter filters have made a big difference to how people are using the site. So they can now find what they're looking for and they're staying on the site for much longer to have a look at it. Um, secondly, when you're creating content, play to your strengths. So if you've done some research, um, then you know what's popular and what's not. And also what you can offer that no one else can. Um, so for example, we know that our audience likes objects that tell the story of Scotland. Um, so we make sure that this is always the focus of our editorial plan, regardless of what you know, exhibitions or events we've got on. Uh, thirdly, um, share your content and use social media to capture attention. So we've learned that people don't come to explore to browse casually in the way they might go to sites like media. So they come because they want to know more about a particular topic. And what they maybe don't know, or probably don't know, is that they can find that information on explore. Um, so we try to use our social media channels as innovatively as possible to catch their attention. And finally, evaluate um, everything you're doing because this generates the energy to keep you running in that wheel. Um, so through the survey and the stats work we've done, we've learned that there's still lots we need to do. Um, we need to find a better way of integrating our blog. We need to think more about younger audiences and how they're using the site and not using the site. And we need to find more ways of attracting people to explore, um, particularly because of the SEO uh, but we're hoping that if we continue to plan, create, share and evaluate, with each stage informing the next, hopefully it will keep improving. So we may be running a circle, but at least you could hopefully call it a virtuous one. That's me, cool. That's life. That's me.